It's Wednesday, July the 21st. I've got a couple announcements to make before I uh, do the fishing report. Uh, I want to let you all know there's a new tackle store in Cape Fair. It's about a half a mile north of where you turn to go to the Cape Fair boat dock or marina right there on the intersection of 76 and 173. And it's called Catch Em All. He's got uh, live bait, he's got minnows, worms. Uh, he's got a pretty good little tackle selection in there. He's got, you know, a little bit of everything. So if you're in the Cape Fair area, you need to stop by and check them out. And then also in September, uh, the dates are gonna be the 11th and 12th over there at Extreme Outdoors. And I'll talk about this more, you know, leading up to it. But you can go to uh, Extreme Outdoors on Facebook, get all the information, but they're having their first annual swap meet. Uh, basically what they're gonna do for, for two days, for Saturday and Sunday, if you wanna rent a table, it's gonna be like $50 for the two days, and you can bring stuff in to sell it, or if you just wanna come in and uh, buy stuff. It's gonna be a pretty neat deal, cause you know, I mean, we've all collected a bunch of tackle over the years, stuff we don't use. So you need to load that stuff up and bring it down. I think it's going to be a, a, a really good, you know, fun deal. It's going to be old lures, new lures, just a little bit of everything. And they're going to have concessions, which uh, Extreme Outdoors is paying for. So you'll have hot dogs, drinks, and snacks will be free. But that is September the 11th and the 12th. So if you get a chance, check them out on Facebook and mark that on your on your calendars. But going to be a lot of area and regional pros there so there'll be a lot of good equipment i'm sure there'll be fish finders trolling motors just uh tackle line a little bit of everything but as far as the the lake level right now it's like 9 16 and three quarters it's down about a foot since last week and it looks like they've slowed the, the generation down quite a bit they're just running you know Periodically, right now, they'll they'll run it water for two or three hours, then they shut it down. But the water temperature is still about the same. It's it's actually pretty cool for this time of year. It's still in the low 80s. I think it was 81, 82 degrees this morning when we were out there. Uh, a lot of different ways to catch fish. I have primarily still just been fishing shallow. And I'm fishing a lot of the conservation brush piles with the lake getting down. The, a lot of the conservation rock piles and brush piles in that 20 to 25 foot of water been holding some pretty decent quality fish for me and I've been catching them on uh, football jigs, uh, five fish ultimate cover jig, magnum shaky heads. I've been throwing like a zoom uh, mag trick worm, uh, Cinco style baits on little smaller shaky heads. And on the football jigs, you know, a lot of green pumpkin purple uh, I'm throwing anywhere from a half ounce to a five eighths, sometimes a three quarter in the brush and out there on some of that offshore structure. Now I'm not finding a lot of the fish piled up in them areas, but I am catching, you know, we are catching quality fish out there. I think we had, uh, you know, four good large mouth out there this morning in one area and uh, two of them we caught on a crankbait, you know, my deep diving crankbait kind of eluded me for a couple weeks, but it seems like with the lake level coming down, some of them rock piles and brush piles I can hit. But uh, I'm throwing anything that runs anywhere from 15 to 20 foot. I'm throwing some uh, striking 8XDs, uh, a 6XD will work. This is a, a 6 cents that, you know, is about, runs the same depth as a 6XD, but using a lot of shad patterns, uh, citrus shad. Uh, some of the fish are on the bottom or on top of the brush. So you don't have to get the bait. If the brush pile's in, you know, 25 feet, you don't have to get the bait down 25 feet. Some of the fish are coming up out of them. You just got to run the crankbait, you know, over the top of them. Uh, still been catching some fish on top water. Uh, whopper floppers, catching some on a buzz bait in the river arms. And this seems to be pretty much early. Uh, catch some on walking baits like a, a spook or a sexy dog and even uh, like pop bars or yellow magics. I've still got a, you know, pretty decent little crankbait bite going on, a square bill. Uh, today we went up uh, up towards Baxter, got in a little bit of stained water, 
and caught some back in there on the square bills. And I've been throwing, you know, several different square bills, but this little uh, Spro, this little John 50, it's kind of, the size of it's kind of between a 1.5 and a 2.5 uh, citrus shad. Uh, I like the bait, I really like it because it's catching me a lot of fish, but I like the fact that it's, it's between the size of the 1.5 and the 2.5. Uh, I can run it up there shallow where I can run a 1.5 and it will run about as deep as the 2.5 will go. But mainly I'm fishing uh, flats up there with isolated wood uh, and shad. You know, I'm looking for, today there wasn't very much shad up that we could visually see. So we was just trying to knock it off, uh, lay downs, any kind of wood that was out there on the flats, anywhere from uh, three to eight foot deep, you know, on them flats. And you get back up in them areas, you get off the flat where there's a channel, you can catch some throwing a shaky head up against the rock. It seems like one day they're out there on the flats, on the wood. If that doesn't work, pull up to the nearest little depth or the nearest little channel that you got and work the edge of the flat or where the bluff channel is back in them creeks. Uh, throwing this, a little finesse jig, and also a, a Texas rig worm. Oh, I got them right over here. but. Late in the summer like this, I like to throw a Texas rig worm quite a bit in place of a jig. I usually throw it on a quarter ounce or five sixteenths bullet bullet weight. And normally I won't Texas rig it. I mean, I will Texas rig it, but I won't peg it. But uh, anywhere from a 10 inch to like a, a eight to 10 inch, like an old monster will work good. These are eight inch, but I like something in the plum, tequila sunrise, uh, blue fleck, and I'll flip these the same places I would a little jig around any any type of cover that I can find. Seems like when it gets warmer like this in the summer, uh, fish like a little bit bigger meal, and I seem like I catch a little bit better fish on the worm. I don't catch as many as I would on a smaller worm, but a little bit better quality. But you know that's work has been working for me up in Long Creek, up in the James River, and you know up in the White River as well. And I've been going you know quite a ways back in the creeks or up into the upper rivers to where the water's a little bit stained and it starts to get a little skinny. I mean, skinny, I mean, you know, 10, 12 foot or less. And basically just fishing any visible cover that's back there. Uh, I haven't been doing much drop shot and I've been doing a little bit. We pulled out on a long gravel flat today and caught a couple, but been catching them on a, a brown and purple chompers worm about all 30 to 35 feet deep. I know a lot of the guys have been catching them out over the deeper trees and around some of the deeper boat docks. I haven't been doing too much of that because I've been getting a you know, pretty decent bite on the jigs and on the offshore structure and just the opposite, some of the real shallow structure. But it seems like fishing that shallow cover you can do it in the clear water early with the top water but it seems like once that sun gets up I need to be in an area that's got some stained water or be in a creek where there's some fresh water coming back in there where there's actually plenty of oxygen for the fish to, to be shallow to sustain them up there. But you know for the most part uh, there's a lot of different ways to catch fish. Uh, I've been from one end of the lake to the next and a lot of the same things seem to be working. Seem like I'm trying to get stay out of the main lake much after 10 or 11 o'clock is when all the big boats get out and that's where I'm spending most of my time in the creeks on that shallow bite. So till next week, uh, good luck, good fishing.